Oh, boys and girls, it is that time of year again, as you can see from the big sign behind me. I am in Paris. It is TwitchCon. Let's go in and have a little explore, shall we? Well, as ever, when I come to these events, I have done no research and I have no idea what's here, but we've walked in and we're in a very loud room full of bright lights and young people. Here, have a look. Look at the size of that telly, which has got screens on both sides. I, I would guess it's got screens on the back as well. And then over here, we've got a big stage with things on. There is the loot cave, which I went in last night. They did a partner's early access to the loot cave thing. I bought a beret. Here's a picture of me in the beret. And uh, a couple of other bits as well. So I probably won't go in there now unless there's no queue. Then over here, we've got loads of arcade machines and I think the meet and greet area is behind that. They have pick and mix over here. And I think over there is where you do a queue. I remember having a similar reaction when I walked into Amsterdam last year of, goodness me, that's a small room and not very much in it because there is more somewhere else if it's anything like last year. But at the moment, this is, this is all we can see. A big telly is great though. How do you get one of those for home? So there's your alternate angle of some arcade machines, big table football, various things that you get in arcades. Confirmation as well. There is a third side to that big telly that's over there. And because there's loads of young people around, bean bags on the floor. Behind me, we have the meet and greet area where I mean, I'm not gonna have any idea who anyone is. There might well be some very famous people there, but there was a partner party last night that, you know, cause I'm fancy, went to, didn't recognize anyone other than the football manager people who I was already here with. So yeah, if you're a big into famous Twitch people, you might well see them in the video and I won't acknowledge that they're there. not because I'm rude, because I don't know who they are, because I'm old and don't really watch Twitch. So we are up on the roof of the building in an area known as the Kappa Cabana. I don't know what that means. I think it's young person things, but we've got a little rooftop area where there's lots of trees and shade. It is very hot. It is 32 degrees today, apparently. Um, but we've got some food areas over there, places to just hang out. And then over here, we have the Eiffel Tower. Proof that we are in Paris, it's over there. Um, just around the side there, that's the partner lounge and the little partner balcony as well, but not allowed to film or stream in there because the partners are all necking each other and they don't want that on camera. I think that, I'm, I'm really sure that's why you're not allowed to stream in there. Um, but yeah, it's quite cool up here. Let's, let's have an explore, shall we? So here we have rooftop, nice view over the city and trees and things and lots of cool little balcony things. Over there, where all those tall buildings are, that's where our hotel is. We're about 45 minutes away. Mistakes have been made picking the hotel for this event. It's a nice hotel. It's just really far away from the action. But if we come through here, it looks like there's a little outdoor performance area and places to get food. So there's a little performance tent at the end there. And then down these steps, various rooftop food trucks that smell amazing. I can really smell chips and vinegar, which I don't think is coming from the Italian grilled burger. And that speaker is probably ruining my audio. It looks like this is actually a car park some of the time. It's the disabled parking spaces, but for this, it is the food area. Well, we're back inside in a rare, lovely air conditioned area before we go back into a sweaty hall. We're trying to find the Glitch Theatre, which is where the Twitch Rivals Fall Guys competition is taking place. And Zealand and YouTube's own Tom FM are going to be performing in that. So me and Matt are going to go and cheer them on. Look, Matt's here. I think that's the first time you've been in the video. You're just lurking in the background. Hello. Matt's here. So we're going to go and find them and try and put Tom off and basically just try and ruin it for him because he's quite nervous about the fact he's on a big stage at a big event. So, yeah. Obviously, I've given him, yeah, I've given him my words of encouragement beforehand. They were excellent. 
works. Uh, well, I just yelled at him, don't, don't mess up, Tom, there's lots of people watching, or words to that effect. I think you actually <laughs> Yeah, so, yourself. you know, I'm a motivator. I think what we're aiming for is in here. Right, this looks like this is probably the right area. So I think, oh, that does sound like a lot of people. Oh, Tom's going to be afraid. I love it. Well, that's the, that's the place they are. I can't see Tom. I think he's hiding behind a monitor. But I can see Zealand. They're on this bit right at the back here on this left-hand side. Have a good look at them now, because they'll be knocked out within a few minutes. Well, as an old man, I have very little idea what's going on in here, but they've just put a little table up, and at the moment, Zealand's team are on zero points and in last place, so I'm happy. I don't need to understand what's going on. As long as they lose, so I can laugh at them afterwards, I'll be happy. Well, they didn't quite finish completely last, but they gave it a good go. The, the only team worse than them was a guy who couldn't see the screens. He's wearing a mask. Here we have uh, YouTube's Tom FM. Interested to know your thoughts on how that went, Tom. Look, we played well as a team. Uh, we, we, we tried hard. I think the issue was we didn't practice beforehand. Everyone else had practice, you see. They knew the maps. There's a rumour it took you so long to get here because you kept getting knocked back down the escalators when you got halfway up them. Is that true? No. Look what I found. An actual expo hall. This is my thing. I love an expo hall. Now you're talking. Look at this. Look at it. They've got farming simulator. Okay, this feels significantly large. This is my afternoon now. I am happy. So we've got various games on the show here, including just here, we've got the Sega booth. Now as Football Manager content creators, I'm assuming we'll be welcomed into this booth with open arms, and there'll be loads of Football Manager stuff on display. Worryingly, it all looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. We did get into the Sega booth last year, but that was more to do with the fact that Work the Space was with us and new people than we create content on one of their games. We've got a little relaxation area there, which does look very relaxing. You can get your makeup done over there, Tom. Oh, that's, that's a bit of me, that is, yeah. Yeah, Tom's going to get his makeup done. We will head over all the areas of this and have a little look around. I don't know what deceit is. It could be a game, it could be hardware, nobody knows. Samsung are here, as you can see over there. And Streamlabs ahead of us. I know one of the sponsors of the event is Crocs. If I can score myself some TwitchCon Crocs or gibbets, I'll be delighted. Oh wow, this goes on all the way around here as well. Okay, there is a lot here. This is a pretty significant expo hall. So we've got Streamlabs doing their thing. Nano Leaf, which I am a big fan of. We've got a couple of sets of Nano Leafs in our house. Some kind of wall that people are scribbling on over there. Elgato back there. I've got just about every product they make as well. Sure. I have a Sure microphone. This is just like a, a collection of things that I already own. That's, that shows how long I've been doing this for. I've already got all this gear. That being said, if anyone here wants to give me a freebie, I'll put that out into the universe. I'll take a set of Sure headphones. I'm not sure what we've got over there. It looks like some kind of game thing going on. And then sound alerts. No idea what that is. I've got no idea what half of this stuff is. Lots of people streaming in lots of areas. So we've got a streamer zone there where lots of people are streaming. That looks like a very fancy streaming setup, as you would imagine. Another wall where people are writing their name. I do like having my name on things, so I might swing by that in a bit. And then one of these, Stream Elements. Okay, so we already had Stream Labs, now we've got Stream Elements. Showing their wares on there. And then we loop back round to Elgato. 
I mean, I'm missing a lot of this out. I will come and have a proper explore. But I just wanted to give you our whistle stop tour of the show floor. There's lots going on over there. So, El Garso, like I say, if they do a product that I don't already own, I would be very, very surprised. But I am lurking in the hope that they're going to thrust freebies into my hands. I've just picked up one of these actually, which I set up at home just before I left. I've got one of those now, you the don't twiddlers. Use it. I don't, I haven't set it up properly yet. But it is very pretty looking because I can twiddle it. It's basically an expensive widget spread of you. Yeah. If anyone from Elgato watches this, the amount of your stuff I've bought over the years, let's start getting some freebies. More fancy blue lighting over here as we look at whatever WCT France is. I have no idea what's going on over here. Some kind of some kind of thing. What is this? They, they play tag. They're, they're running around playing like a... Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, it's actually quite good. We should watch them a bit. It actually is really good. So apparently this is people playing tag. We need to find a little area to hide. Oh, here they come, look. Oh, this looks like that someone has the capacity to get hurt. Bonkers. I feel like if I stand here long enough, I'm guaranteed to see someone get maimed. Yeah, yeah. Bonkers. Right, I need to investigate the Crocs situation. I love my Crocs. Let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. We have lots of uh, lots of gaming themed gibbets on there. What I'm not seeing is a Twitch logo, which I would absolutely buy a Twitch gibbet if such a thing existed. It doesn't look like they've got anything like that which is a shame but crocs are awesome never let anybody tell you crocs aren't awesome crocs are awesome we also have the nyx makeup area as well already got anna a freebie from there yesterday when i picked up my pass frontier games with their warhammer game over there as well and then I'm not quite sure what we've got going on over here. It looks like a big multi-lane scale electrics track, which is one of the greatest things I've ever seen, if that's what it actually is. That looks like that's exactly what it is. Why is this not in constant use? Why is this not on? This looks amazing. And then we've just got lots of big board games and things over here. There's a lot of this up in the partner area as well which we're not allowed to film up there. But yeah, all of this stuff pretty much is up there. So if we wanted to do any of this, we'd probably go and do it without having to queue. Although it does look like Tom's desperate for a game of table tennis. I can't see any clubs anywhere. Oh, can't see any balls anywhere. So is this the official World Table Tennis Championships? I used to be in table tennis club when I was at school. So I'd, uh, I'd show both of these two up. Obviously, I can't do that and film, so just assume that whoever wins out of these two then played me and I thrashed them, but obviously couldn't film it happen. Oh, look at them go. Look at them go. Cheat! See, I know the rules. I think that's one all. You are a menace. So over here, we have a big LAN area that has 
lots of stuff going on. Different in concept to the LAN area you get at Insomnia, because this isn't people bringing their own PCs, but I guess just booking sessions and uh, playing big multiplayer games, which looks fun. Who won then? Oh, me. And then I beat you off camera, exactly. These two now want to drive with the little steering wheel. I get bored enough driving my own car, I don't need to drive a little steering wheel car. But it looks like they're giving away some kind of freebie or doing something here. With a fairground game, knocking over controllers with balled up socks. And then I guess you win something. I do like to win things. No, that was poor. But now we get to see Matt fail on camera and I didn't yeah. film my brothers. Yeah. So this is perfect. And if he does it, it just won't go in the video. All three of us failed. We have empty bags, which is just what I wanted, something else to carry around. Can I put my bag in your bag? No. So over here we seem to have some kind of VR laser tag <laughs> where you can see people are running around in this. Oh, in fact, all you can see is the back of Tom. You can see people are running around in this big arena area with VR headsets on. And then on here, you can see what they're seeing. So they're seeing an actual game which is pretty cool. I would absolutely vomit in moments if I had to do this. But looks fun if you can not vomit whilst doing it. So one of the things that I'm enjoying about this TwitchCon compared to Amsterdam is the way it's spread out across multiple floors stops it feeling horrifically busy. So in there is the Twitch Rivals and Glitch stage. The floor above was the, co the uh, outside bit, the cabana bit, and the partner lounge. This next floor is where you have the expo hall, where we were before. And then down on the bottom floor, you've got the loot cave, the arcade area, the lounge area, ticket collection, and it's all nicely spread out. So although the event itself probably has a similar number of people to what we had in Amsterdam, there's always space around and nice air conditioning and it never feels like I'm crammed in. I've shown enough conventions on this channel over the years of Saturday afternoons in a convention. It's four o'clock on Saturday afternoon, which normally would be peak busyness in a convention. And it's just nowhere feels overly busy, but everywhere each section has got a lot of people in, but they're nicely spread out. I just think it's quite cleverly laid out. More events should learn from this. But we are back down on the bottom floor for the first time since first thing this morning. And we're just gonna have a look to see if we missed anything in this section. So there's your full menu of everything that's here that shows how it is spread out over the different floors. So panels and things are on the third floor as well, which we're not really interested in. But let's, uh, is this the way in? Yes. We'll go in here then. I used to hate them. Ah yes, this looks familiar. So back in here again. What is that massive crowd of people over there? Oh, meet and greets, okay. That is a water receptacle. Having these water points scattered around the place is handy as well because I have noticed in France, water is quite hard to come by. Whenever you ask for it anywhere, they give you a tiny little half glass. So we're both filling up water bottles throughout the day. So there's the meet and greet, very, very busy area. Oh, I thought it was ice creams, but it's pick and mix. But there's all the arcade stuff. What's the queue like for the loot cave? Because I've already been in there, but it was during the creator bit where I couldn't film it. The queue is massive to get in there today. Just imagine what a room full of loads of Twitch merch would look like. And that's what the loot cave is. I'm not gonna queue up to go back in there when I've already made my purchases. I will show you my purchases when I get back to the hotel maybe. 
that can be a compromise situation. And then we've got all of the arcade machines, pinball machines, that kind of thing. One thing that does seem to be missing compared to Amsterdam is there was an area like this there, but it also had uh, FIFA and stuff like that. You know, they've got the Pong machine down here as well. I love those Pong machines. That's what we've been playing on upstairs. We played it a lot and it is awesome. It's like a, a, a physical game of Pong on a little coffee table. I enjoyed it so much that I looked to see him about buying one and they were a Kickstarter about five years ago and the website it links to doesn't really exist anymore. And I am officially the world champion of TwitchCon table pong thing. It's great. But there is a lot of really cool arcade games in here. You could certainly spend some time between here and the area upstairs at the ping pong and all the board games and stuff in there. And then just the outside hanging around area is a little bit different from some of the typical conventions I bring you along to, where it's more about playing the games and wandering around and buying stuff and looking at the shops. There's much less what I lovingly refer to as tat here that you can just buy and lots more just social areas to hang out and do fun stuff, which I think is a refreshing difference from the typical conventions that I come along to. I really like TwitchCon, I think it's really cool. We are going back to the hotel now though, because we were up very late last night on a boat near the Eiffel Tower and it's nap time before we go out doing tourist things again. There you go, never let it be said I don't go out of my way to get the shots for you. So we'll just have a little nose through the window down here as well so you can see a little bit more so you can see more examples of the uh the kind of stuff you can purchase in there in the window and then through there you can see i mean there's quite a lot of it there's quite a lot of choice i do quite fancy one of these bucket hats but i already brought that beret yesterday so I probably don't need a bucket hat as well. That is the loot cave, ladies and gentlemen. And that, boys and girls, brings us to the end of my TwitchCon Paris 2023 video. That's not it for the videos here from Paris, though. So if you want to see what else we've got to have on this trip, including how I got here, where I'm staying, and some of the more touristy things I've got up to during the weekend stay, there'll be a playlist for that down in the description below. Also, if you want more convention stuff, I do go to lots of conventions throughout the year, Comic-Con, EGX, Insomnia, and more and if you want to see last year's twitchcom vlog from amsterdam you can watch that video now right there but if you have enjoyed this one please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel for matt lurking in the background occasionally and thank you very much for watching